As of recording this, the Atari VCS is selling for $139.99 on the Atari website or $149.99 for the all-in bundle that comes with the two controllers on Amazon. That is an awesome deal to get yourself a Tinker PC. Seriously, if you are into PCs or interested in doing some sort of project but don't want to do it on your main build, buy this as your Tinker Box or your home lab. The only barrier is the BIOS password, but that has been posted online so it can be removed. But once you do, just throw in some new storage and a RAM upgrade. Just be mindful that this is SATA M.2 and not NVMe. I threw in a 1TB SSD and 32 gigs of RAM on mine. Um, you can do whatever you like. All it cost was me accidentally ripping out the USB flex cable and the Wi-Fi antenna, uh, so I've had to replace both, but now I have a pretty decent machine. Ta -da! You can ignore the 32 gigs of flash storage that's in it or even wipe it, but just make sure you download the Atari OS backup image to restore to if you do. So I do think it's important that we preserve this OS, because it is really cool to just like mess around with for five minutes. It's I think it's worth preserving. Somebody worked on this and decided, hey, let's let's make a console style operating system on top of Linux. I think Debian. Uh, but it's really cool. I think it should be preserved. So the goal here wasn't to make it into like a Steam machine. Um, we are going to use this as a PC, but I want this to be something interesting um, and fun to use. So I decided that we're going to be installing Chicago 95 on Rat Linux. And this thing is able to play games that I care about well enough, so it's perfectly fine for me. Your results may vary. Uh, the APU in this thing is not going to be playing any modern AAA titles, but um, I'm having a fun time just messing with this thing and seeing what runs on it. You can do more with it. You know, host a server off of it. You want to do a uh, private room stage? Years of War, Halo, uh, Diablo 1, Jack and Daxter, Devil May Cry, Fallout. Okay, no sense keeping you in bed anymore. Oblivion? Huh? Yeah, and the fact that I can do uh, any of this for under 150 bucks is pretty great. It's just kind of sad to know that this is probably Atari just moving the last of the inventory. So who knows when we'll ever get a PC like this again. I think it's definitely worth getting it while you still can. I've always loved the Atari look. Uh, like that classic Atari wood grain finish and for them to introduce a modern redesign on this thing and just have it be a PC that I can just do anything with I was immediately sold and it's come down a long way from $400 so I think right now is a great time to pick it up and again don't be afraid to tinker with it just mess around with it uh, have this be your secondary PC that you just play with it's it looks great on the desk <laughs> I think that's what's great about it, is that it just looks so good on the desk. I spent additional money to upgrade mine, obviously, so it's not, you know, technically it's a little bit more than 150 but I think you can still do something with the base specs that come out of it. You know, 32 gigs of flash storage isn't a whole lot, but, you know, you can do something with it. 8 gigs of RAM, something. The Zemo Blade comes with the same specs. Um, and I have one of those too, and that one thing is also fun to tinker with, so um, I'm perfectly happy with what I've paid for both of them. Can't go wrong with both, but highly recommend you get an Atari while you still can.